So it's early May and things are just starting to warm up and take shape and happen in the garden. These Arrhenius diadematis garden spiders are uh, laying these large, well the, the eggs have hatched and the spiderlings are all grouping. Which is just a sure fire sign that summer's on the way or at least that spring is ending. And the whole of the insect wall, the wild wall, whatever you want to call it, is uh, it's starting to move. Like I say, it's, it's early evening, it's warm. So there's a few bees about, not a tremendous amount, but things will get better from this point on. And uh, I've got a good feeling about this year. I think it's gonna be a, a stonker for solitary bees. So with that in mind, and if you have a stump in your garden, you might wanna consider leaving it. I've got three here from where I chopped down my pine trees. It's all part of a plan. There's gonna be more ponds and more trees going in. So don't worry that I've chopped trees down. They were very, very insensitively placed and uh, right in the middle of where I needed to put the ponds and they were very big, blocking the light behind. They're not native. So with all those factors together, I chopped them down. I am keeping all the wood and slowly changing it into habitat. So it's all kind of working quite well. But if you have a stump like this, you could use it for a habitat. Now I'm early days on this, but if I show you, take you up here, I've got to be careful because in this clump of rotting grass and I guess tree bits and stuff, vegetation, there is a, a bumblebee nest. So if you want a bumblebee nest, don't worry about building massive habitats or intricate habitats. Dump some vegetation on the ground. So this stump, you see I've chopped down the side and I've got it kind of wedged. It's hard to hold the camera here, but I'll try and show you. So if I take this bit off and place it as it eventually will go, there you go, move around the front. Sorry about this. This is um, the cut I've made into it. And in that, I'm gonna drill all the normal holes with no sort of uh, PVA or anything at all on this one. I'm, I'm just gonna let it rot down naturally, but I'm gonna fill it with holes. And it being a, a tree that I guess is still alive at the moment, but I'm hoping that as, it's, as it dies, that uh, they will start inhabiting it eventually this stump will be chopped down which is contradicting what I just said about you having an old stump and using it because I'm putting a new area here eventually I will chop it off at the bottom but I'll stand it upright and it will serve the same purpose so it's just a really good way to utilize what would normally be I guess mulched or let rot down which in itself isn't bad because you can get a lot of uh, invertebrate larvae that that thrive in rotting wood but for this one in particular, it was too good a, an opportunity to miss. So I've taken the front off, that will be the roof, and it will be full of holes. I'll show you, I'll cut to it anyway in a second and miss out a few weeks because I have to let this wood season a little bit because it is, if you watch my other videos, you'll know that it's very hard to get a clean hole in wet wood and a live wood is wet wood. So. I'm going to wait a few weeks, let it brown off and then drill the holes. So as if by magic, I'm going to cut to that now. So it's a beautiful sunny evening and I'm sitting here on my deck drilling away by hand and not using the bench drill or pillar drill because I can't fit it underneath the head. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to show people how to drill holes. Sounds silly, doesn't it? Because who can't drill a hole? Well, holes are fine. For drilling if you were doing anything other than something for solitary bees but there's a method to get in the hole just right so i'll try and drill one with you it's a, this is slightly wet i've been drying this stump this is the second part of the video which i'll tack on in a moment but um i've been drying it off in the sun and it's relatively dry till about an inch down then there's water in it you over ideally and we've said this before leave 
wood to season for a, over winter really till the next year but okay this is what we've got to work with so we'll stick with it always drill downwards because it's just so much easier than drilling horizontally so lay your in this case log if you're doing a stump habitat uh, so that you can make some wedges like I have if you like just to keep it uh, upright so I always use a new drill and make sure it's clean so you want to be just going slow to start with to open the hole and then for this kind of length drill take it out each time so that it cleans the shavings out of the drill otherwise you will it won't work right so I normally do with this size hole three cuts two drills and that's it so if we clean that off you can see I mean it went a bit weird actually that one because it's in a knot but it's still nice and clean and the hole hasn't got much fibre inside uh, obviously this is all going to be sanded down afterwards so any any fibres on the surface will be cleaned off because they wouldn't a, a solitary bee would not go in there in my experience whether there's some science to back that up I don't know but uh, in my experience they won't go in if it's untidy so we'll do another one there so make sure you, the, the drill's relatively clean nice and slow to start a third of the way in take it out clean it off another third you can see this is wet this wood and then the final and then once that's sanded off that will be a lovely clean hole once we get all this fibre off the surface and they end up kind of looking, I haven't really got one, but like this kind of edge here that's what they'll all look like which is what they seem to want so this is halfway done now I've sawed off the top section that I cut downwards at an angle and stuck it on to give it a nice sort of visual appearance and this will be have about 250 holes in it of different sizes I'll put some legs on it, put a top on it, and it should be finished soon. But uh, so the key things are a new drill bit. Don't use old drill bits; it just won't work. Seasoned wood, if possible, lay it horizontally and push down. It's so much easier. And drill slowly to start, and then three or four runs should get you the hole you want. Pillar with a pillar drill, it's easy. But as you can see from that log, it's huge. So you'd never get that under my current pillar drill. My new one, maybe. But even so, manipulating it so that you're moving the log each time to underneath the drill bit would be a pain. So in this instance, using a, a good hand drill or even an electric hand drill, if you've got one, uh, sorry, an electric drill, a power drill would be even better because it's just the revolutions are so much higher than a battery one. But my drill, it's, um, it's, it's a Milwaukee, not a Makita. I used to have Makita. It's a Milwaukee and they're really good. So. Um, I hope that helps. I'll uh, catch up with you in a moment. So the stump habitat is all complete. I've left the front on here so you can see what the log looked like before. And now I've stuck the top bit back on that was initially cut off in order to make the cut right the way down. It uh, fits perfectly. So if I just take this off, you can kind of see what it looks like now. And I think it's come up really, really well. I love the design. I think it's beautiful to look at. It's really rough and ready and rustic, which is nice. The holes are really clean after I uh, used a flatbed sander to take the top millimetre off to get rid of all those scuffs that we spoke about earlier. One thing you might want to consider once you've drilled your holes, if you are drilling down, which is normal with a pillar drill, to increase the pressure and make it easier for yourself, once you're done, the holes will have filled with sawdust. So turn it over and make sure all the chambers are empty. Occasionally you can get a bit of wire and just loosen up the stuff at the bottom and just to empty it out the bees will actually clean chambers but if it's too tightly packed it might be hard for them so yeah all done i think it's going to be really successful i love the fact that it's wonky i had to put different um height feet at the bottom one on different height each side to level it out a bit because it was even worse than it is now but i love the fact that it leans and the roof isn't level so the water's naturally going to run off which is great so i'm really pleased with it I don't think there's much to know really, just find an old stump, chop the face off, let it dry for a while, drill your holes, sand, put a roof on it and some feet. 
and you've got a really natural looking solitary bee hotel. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Share on Twitter, Stephen underscore where. Keep in touch with any questions below and I'm happy to answer them. It's getting sunny here. I hope it's nice by you. Have a good spring, summer and we'll speak soon.